Next reaction that we are going to study is Walker process. And Walker process, uh, Walker process is an important reaction for industrial chemistry. And historically, it was developed to produce acetic acid. Basically, this reaction will produce acetaldehyde. And that acetaldehyde will be very quickly oxidized to give us acetic acid. So acetic acid is an important chemical reagent used to make many other products. So in the quest to produce acetic acid, they discovered this reaction. But later, this reaction was used for all other alkyne. I'm taking ethene. So if I'm taking ethene, it will result in aldehyde. If I take any other higher alkene, that will result in ketone. So I'm, I'm taking first ethene. Ethene will result in aldehyde, but basically all other alkene will result in ketone. So that becomes our method of preparation of ketone. But let's look the basic, basic reaction. If we take ethene as the starting material, and then palladium chloride, and water. Cupric chloride in presence of oxygen or we can take air directly. This will result in ethanol. Palladium would be reduced and HCl molecule will be formed. Basically what has happened here is this ethene has under undergone oxidation because of this addition of oxygen and this palladium has undergone reduction from plus to a state it has gone to zero state oxidation state here is zero here it's plus two so this is basically a redox reaction alkene is getting oxidized palladium is getting reduced right but if you take any other aldehyde suppose any other alkene suppose if i take propene In this propene, if I take the same reagent, then this propene is going to give me acetone. This propene is going to give C double bond O on internal carbon and not on terminal carbon. So the product will not be propenal. The product will be propenone. C double bond O will not appear on terminal carbon. So it won't be propenal. It won't be an aldehyde. It's a ketone. It's propenone. And apart from this, we'll have same reduction of palladium and HCl molecule. Now, the reason why we are adding CuCl2 and oxygen is when this palladium is reduced, this palladium can further react with cupric chloride to regenerate palladium chloride that has been used in the first reaction. So that this palladium chloride, which was taken initially, that initiated the oxidation of alkene that has been reduced can be again oxidized to produce palladium chloride and this can pull up more number of reactants to the final product. So basically this cupric chloride is used to regenerate palladium chloride. Apart from palladium chloride we'll have cuprous chloride. This palladium chloride can be used again in the first reaction that we have seen. This cupric cuprous chloride that has th this cupric chloride has been reduced to cuprous chloride. This cuprous chloride can again undergo reaction with oxygen or air and the HCl that has been produced in the first step of the reaction to again generate cupric chloride. So basically what will happen, the initially whatever cupric chloride, palladium chloride we have added, that will be used in the reaction. Palladium will be produced. That palladium will again form palladium chloride, but the cupric chloride will be reduced to cuprous chloride. And that cuprous chloride will again be oxidized by oxygen to cupric chloride. That cupric chloride can be again used to oxidize palladium to palladium chloride. That's Palladium chloride will be used again in the reaction. So there, there is no need to add much of the palladium chloride. This palladium chloride will be utilized and again regenerated in the reaction so that this palladium chloride keeps on oxy oxidizing the alkene that we have taken. This is the idea of the reaction. 
this is Walker process. So initially it was used to produce ethanol and that ethanol was oxidized to produce ethanoic acid. But if we take any other higher alkene, if we take this, now this alkene will be oxidized to corresponding ketones such that the C double bond O is generated on the internal alkene or the addition is Markinovkov addition. Now the mechanism of oxidation, how exactly this occurs is a tedious and a complex one. We are not getting into the details how exactly C double bond O is generated on the carbon step by step because reaction takes place via other complex present in the reaction as well which we don't show. So it's a complex reaction, the mechanism is not very clear. So we are not dealing with the mechanism here. What we have to know is what this is a Walker process, what reactants we take and basically what's the purpose of adding cuprous chloride and oxygen. That's if you know that, that's good enough. So this is Walker process done. We don't have to worry about the greater details of the mechanism. This is what you have to know about Walker process.